Let's talk about what an apprenticeship is. Generally speaking, and I'm talking in very general terms, the first thing you need to be an apprentice is a high school graduation diploma. What the OYAP program does, it allows you to start your apprenticeship in grade 11, so you don't have to be a graduate. My name is Galen Shad. I like creating. I like working with my hands and being able to make something out of a solid piece of metal. It's actually really cool. I enjoy being able to go out into the workplace, like I have a placement at Omega Tool Corps. There, I don't have to come to school for the rest of the year, so I think it's pretty cool and I get paid to do it too. What happens here is you get paid in this program, and it's basically industry driven. There was such a huge demand by the local tool and mold industry, they said we needed students so badly that we are willing to pay them. So this program is uh, specialized and definitely different from other programs within the province. Uh, there is only so many seats in one of these OYAP classes per year and uh, they do a great job of screening them because they want to put out quality kids so the industry will continue to support the program. My name is Blaze Dell. I work at Platinum Tool Technologies in the engineering department of design. I've been in the trade for about three years now. Got started in the OEAP program through high school. Loved it, it was completely amazing. Best part of high school. I mean, I started sweeping floors, running machines, doing basic components moving up to boring mills. They offered me this spot in design. They said they needed a young kid who can pick up computer stuff really quick. You know, I could really do this. I can take it to the next level and actually make a difference. You're missing out one year of your high school life, you know, where you're chumming around with your buddies. And you're expected to be here at seven o'clock in the morning and you don't leave till 5.30 at night. I wish there would have been a program like this back then for me because I definitely would have done it. So with FIRST Robotics, uh, this is an exceptional program. Uh, it's a program where uh, young students build robots. Uh, more than that, uh, this program teaches them collaboration skills, it teaches them dedication, commitment, all the soft skills that employers today are looking for. I'm the team coordinator of 772. I think the best part of being on the robotics team is that we've become a huge family. You go to so many competitions and get acknowledged by so many other people out there and it actually makes you feel so great that you're part of something so big. I am the mechanical leader. I drive, I design the robot, and I help build the robot. My favorite part is working with professional engineers and meeting new people around the world. My role in the FIRST Robotics team is the electrical leader. So I am in charge of electrical board and pneumatics. Being on the FIRST Robotics team definitely prepares you, especially in engineering or manufacturing, because you already know how to use the tools. I would definitely recommend joining a FIRST Robotics team. It's just an amazing experience. Best experience of my entire life, for sure. Thermal You Learn program is a program where they take um, young adults and we get the opportunity, whether you have experience or not, in the, any field of machining and you get the opportunity for 46 weeks to learn the program. You learn from the very basics of your safety, you learn everything about your tooling, and then you get to go onto the shop floor where you get a hands-on approach as well. So you're not just stuck in a classroom. I, I believe the, the major, the trick to our program is respect. Mutual respect from, uh, from, the, from myself and the students. I, I believe everybody enjoys coming to work here and get paid $12 an hour while they're here. Uh, they get full benefits, uh, and it's a, it's a very compressed training. Uh, it's, you're, you're learning a lot of things here uh, that are not trained other places. Uh, what do I like most about the program? Creating something from like just a block of steel, and I create a piece on the blueprint and just actually make it look real. <laughs> In high school, like I never really thought about it. I always wanted to go into business, and then I just decided like, okay, you can actually do a lot. There's a lot of work here. Very, very privileged to be in here. I now do night school at St. Clair because I'm done my 46 weeks. Two nights a week I will go to St. Clair, do the training there, plus I still work here. It's basically like double training now. As an apprentice, they will come in for training here, nighttime or daytime, uh, and be able to uh, get some more unique classroom type uh, training 
that uh, won't necessarily be done at the job site. So anywhere from 5 to 10 percent of our training will be done here at St. Clair College. The most rewarding is uh, seeing the people excel and uh, really make something out of themselves. Uh, we actually send them out and uh, tour all our facilities and we try to fit their interest to what they, their likings are and that way there we feel if, they, if you like what you're doing you'll be good at it in the future. Today we have over 170 shops in the area, so this is kind of like the mecca of Canada for tool making. And uh, since then we've, we've grown and we have some of the best companies here in the world, probably the top five just in this area. Long term career for somebody who's starting out as an apprentice is like we said, it's lifelong. Uh, during that time there will be all kinds of opportunities. Uh, once you start out as an apprentice in CNC or you start out as an apprentice in mold making, the opportunities start to grow from there. You'll move up from mold maker, from mold maker you'll go to leader. Leader you could grow into a program manager or engineering. There are a lot of steps. One of the steps are of course is obviously moving on your own and starting your own shop. And those who are really good at what they do, that's probably what they should be looking for. And that, that is very rewarding. I get to run my, my shop and it's very exciting. And I would never want to stand in the way of somebody else going after that. So I actually, we encourage that. If somebody told me they were leaving today to go start their own shop, I would do everything I could to make them successful because I know how rewarding it is. My name is Brian Major. I'm uh, originally from Windsor, Ontario. I've lived here my whole life. I was in a different industry for about 13 years and uh, I got a job. I worked there for 13 years and I got laid off. After that, my brother-in-law works in a shop and he told me about a program at St. Clair College and it was a CNC pre-apprenticeship program. Uh, about halfway through the program, they set up uh, a little mini job fair and that's where I met John. About a week later, they called me and came in for an interview. The greatest opportunity is to be challenged. It's not a repetitive type job where you're doing the same thing over and over every day. So if you like to solve puzzles, this is probably a good place to be. I started the OEAP program through Herman Secondary and uh, that's how I got my placement here and I've been here ever since. It used to be that it was a male-dominated uh, trade. Um, it is starting to change. There are more females that are getting into the trades probably more because um, the heavy lifting is gone. Now we have cranes, now we have lighter materials that we're working with. Uh, the equipment is much easier to work with. Originally I wanted to do design work. I went to St. Clair College. I graduated from the Toolmakers program there. I was advised it would probably be a good idea to work on the floor first so I could see how tools, automation all worked before I started designing it. So I worked on the shop floor. I got probably put through the ringer because I was a girl. I think I was the first girl and only girl. You have to work with a lot of guys. They're not always the sweetest. Just remember, just give it right back to them and the next time they'll say please. <laughs> I went back to school for mold making and a teacher came up and asked me in my second year if I was interested in a job. And then I got uh, information about Rico. I went in for an interview. I got hired the next day and I've been here ever since. A common myth that people might have about the sector is with regard to the work environment. Generally speaking, we're in a very clean, noise-free, uh, our, our full shop floor on the shop floor is fully air conditioned. So even if you're a, a welder or a fabricator here, you're welding. If it's 95 degrees outside, you're in an air conditioned shop. The issue is that we have today is we're, everybody's looking for skilled resources, looking for people. Um, as our workforce is aging, um, it presents a big problem for us down the road. If young people aren't getting into the trades, um, we have a shortage today, but the, the shortage is going to be much greater down the road. 25 years ago, we only had to look across the river to get work. Today, we have to look across the world to get work. I think the future for our industry is very bright. <laughs>